Common sayings of lost people number 17. You need to be more open-minded. Did you ever hear that? You get to talking to somebody and they say, oh, you're so narrow-minded. You're so bigoted. You're so this. You're intolerant and all this other stuff. You need to be more open-minded. In other words, they need to hear from you that there's other ways to get to heaven and whatever else and be open to other people's views. How do you answer somebody like that? Well, you show them from the scriptures what the Bible says, the stands that you're supposed to take. Act, or excuse me, John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Show a lost person that and say, okay, you say I'm supposed to be open-minded. Um, I would have to reject the words of Jesus Christ right there in John 14, verse 6. How can I do that? Another one to give them, especially a good, this good one for a Catholic. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Um, Catholic Church calls Peter the first pope. He's the one that said that there in Acts chapter 4, verse 12. And Peter is saying, there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And yet the popes of today say, oh, we have these ecumenical gatherings and I think there are many paths to God and whatever else. Hmm. Rejecting the words of Scripture, first and foremost, but of their first supposed pope. That's a problem. Show a lost person that verse and say, okay, how can I be open-minded when the Scripture tells me Jesus is the only way? Hmm. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 through 28. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. <clears throat> Again, both those passages in Hebrews chapter 9 and 1 Peter chapter 3, there's no leeway at all. There isn't any kind of a thing of, well, there's other ways and things. No, there isn't. All right? Christ was once offered for sins. The just, he's just for the unjust. Sinners, that he might bring us to God. Okay? Uh, there's no other option there. There isn't a plan A or plan B or plan C or D or whatever. Only Jesus Christ can get somebody to heaven. And again, you have somebody that's lost and they, they're questioning you and say, why are you so narrow-minded? Uh, well, just show them those verses of Scripture and say, okay, now what do I do? The Bible says this. You're telling me I need to say something else. Which one am I supposed to listen to? And hopefully that's enough to make them realize, hey, you know what? I'm wrong. And then you can share the gospel with them.